Welcome to Faith Streams. This is Danny Moran. I am the living bread. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh for the life of the world. This is Jesus' discourse on the Holy Eucharist, which he instituted at the Last Supper. And in all three synoptic Gospels written by Matthew, Mark, and Luke on the Last Supper, we read that all Jesus' apostles were present and received the body and blood of Jesus, including Judas. Judas received the body of Christ, but was not in the state of grace. He had already betrayed Jesus in in his heart, therefore committing a mortal sin before receiving the Eucharist. Instead of receiving grace from the Eucharist, his heart was hardened and cold, and we read that the devil entered into him. We must always receive the Eucharist in the state of grace. The Eucharist we receive can actually help strengthen us to acknowledge our sins and be sorry for them. However, mortal sin completely removes a person from the state of grace, and only through the sacrament of confession can we be restored to the state of grace and worthily receive Holy Communion. Anyone who receives the Eucharist in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning of the body and blood of Jesus Christ and thus committing another mortal sin. In confession, grace is bestowed and we are restored in the relationship with Jesus Christ. The priest acting in persona Christi absolves us from our sins and blesses us with the strength to avoid sin and offense against God and neighbor. And finally, with confession, We are refreshed with peace and joy in our hearts.